In this video, I'll show you how to use HappyScribe to automatically transcribe Swahili audio to text. Please note that the Swahili audio is just a sample for this video and HappyScribe supports over 119 plus languages and accents. So welcome to this video. My name is David and it's good to have you here. If you get any value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it with your friends. So HappyScribe has been around for a while but I've never tried it out because I never had an audio sample to do. So what I did recently is that I decided to just do a voiceover in Swahili inside Audacity. Uh, so it's just a sample and this is what we're going to be working with. But before we get into the application itself and I'm using the HappyScribe free version uh, that gives you a couple of minutes to test it out, I'd like us to look at what languages are supported just in passing and also look at how much Happy Scribe costs. So we can just come up to why Happy Scribe and you can see it supports transcription and subtitling and all these are automatic and then there's integrations and API. Then we have languages and as always most of these applications that uh, are used to automatically transcribe audio into text or subtitles ensure security of your data. Uh, so what we need here is to check out the languages and I can click on that so that we can see just in over in passing how many languages are supported and you can see that to start off is Afrikaans and all these other languages so some I may not know how to pronounce so I'll just skip and then we can just scroll down and you can see there is English Kenya so if maybe I like I wanted to transcribe this audio I do it English Kenya it's uh, the accents are different so English is not a first language to me so you'll always hear that and there is a difference between an American and maybe me speaking. If we scroll down to the version I want, Swahili, there is Swahili for Tanzania and Swahili for Kenya. So that's what we are going to use. But before that, let's look at the pricing. So the pricing is important uh, depending on the number of projects you have. So for example, for one hour of audio, it costs 12 euros to automatically transcribe using HappyScribe. The more you transcribe, let's say you purchase 25 hours and above, then you get a discount of about 25 euros. As you keep on adding more hours past 50, then you still get another discount. So uh, the more you, you transcribe or the hours you purchase, the less you pay. So uh, you can always see everything and everything is transparent. Uh, but what I have to say is that if you have audio in different languages, most of the applications that are reviewed on this channel, including Otter AI, Descript, uh, using YouTube to automatically transcribe, just do English alone. But it's good when we have an application like HappyScribe that is transcribing over 119 languages and dialects. So let's go back to the languages and uh, we're just doing a free trial. So uh, I'm not going to be paying for this and I don't have an account as of yet. So I'll just type up here Swahili and then select Kenya. And once I do that, uh, it gives you all these particular options. Happy Scribe is an automatic transcription tool, accurate and affordable. It can transcribe your recording in Swahili from Kenya uh, and 119 plus languages and accents. And uh, all these other companies here seem to vouch for it. So all I need to do is just click on start transcribing in Swahili. Now, you can try it for free. No credit card is required. So what I'll do, I'll just fill out my name, David Bogua. Uh, just add an email and a password. I agree to the terms of service and then just click on get started free. So once I click on that, since this is a new account that I've just created, it gives you uh, the option uh, to, to save my password. Let me just save it. And then let me just continue. Now, this is the interface that greets you. So let's start. What do you want to do? There are a bunch of options. I just want to transcribe my audio. So I'll just select that. And there's a transcription and subtitles option. Let's just click on transcription. And once I click on that, there's an option to upload a file. I'll click on that and navigate to the folder with the audio I want to transcribe. Let's click on upload. Now, how is the quality of the audio? These are just prerequisites to know how much processing the engine will need to do. Is there background noise? 
is is the background noise free yes it is are speakers close to the mic yes i was is conversation clear without overtalk yes it is do speakers have clear accent yes so i'm good to go just click on proceed the first option is select the audio of the video drop files here paste or browse files or import from my device public links like youtube this is awesome google drive dropbox vimeo my youtube channel or even wistia so this is going to save you a lot of time especially if you are creative and if you are a video editor and you need to use this particular service so since i already have uh, the folder open uh, with my voiceover i'll just drag and drop it there we go it's just a short file less than a minute so it's done uploading the next thing i need to do is select the language let's click on this press on s s again let's just scroll down swahili kenya let's click on that uh, now there's nothing else i need to do here i won't use any vocabulary or anything i'll just click on transcribe a few questions while we're transcribing your file what profession what's your profession select industry mm, give or take video producer or editor what's the size of of your company let's just say just me what's the name of your company let's just say freelancer insights and then we click on continue it gives you a new page what will you use happy scribe for content publishing video production podcast production qualitative research content archiving other let's see what's beneath here let's say other and then it gives you remaining time three minutes left be patient the transcription process of your file might take some time so there is no issue with that we can just wait and see what results we're going to get for swahili transcription now your file is ready there we have it let's click on open dashboard i'd like to see how it's uh the kind of work it's done so here we are uh it's a one minute uh swahili kenya and the upload date and it's done let's see uh let's see what we are going to get with this just click on open oh, i can't wait to see the results of this now akilimali kidishamba cha gorofa kinafam kulima now what does the red mean maybe it means it's wrong maybe it's right what i've done i've gone ahead and opened uh the article i was reading from a local daily so that maybe i can do a slight comparison so i'll just try and play it and listen through and see if what i actually recorded is what was automatically transcribed so here we go let's have a listen so we can use the tab key akilimali kijishamba cha gorofa kinamfam kulima wa mjini so there are a bunch of corrections obviously so they've done a good job akilimali kijishamba cha gorofa gorofa is gh kinamfa m kinamfa mkulima let's keep going fa kinamfa mkulima wa mjini mkulima wa mjini let's go ahead ma wa mjini uhaba wa vipande vya now uh, uh this is uh, this is wrong uhaba wa vipande vya ardhi let's just listen again uhaba wa vipande vya ardhi vilivyotengwa vipande uh, sorry d vya ardhi vilivyotengwa uhaba wa vipande vya ardhi vilivyotengwa kwa ajili ya kilimo mijini ni suala ambalo now here is mijini like uh in the towns mijini mo mijini ni suala ambalo ni bayana katika maeneo mengi bayana this is uh just one word ana katika maeneo mengi nchini mengi maeneo mengi just mengi nchini so uh, uh 
just full stop uh, we can just uh, make that uh, a new line let's just listen mengine chin upungufu huo unachangiwa na ongezeko la now basically what i'd like to say is that yes it's done a good job you may need to do some editing it may save you some time but you may need to do more editing and typing than expected so this is a test of, of a voice and accent that's different from what i'm used to transcribing i'm used to transcribing english with a kenyan accent using different applications and they all have different results so i'd give them that they are getting what is being said it's just that either the application is missing uh, some few sections and i won't dwell so much uh, into making further corrections i'll just like to see uh, what else we can do we can just convert to subtitles and if you click on that uh, we'll see uh, what options they give us so this is what happens they give you all these options that you can uh, uh, use edit subtitle limits let's say you want uh, let's say 37 characters per line minimum gap between uh, subtitles and then we have advanced uh, settings there we have it 20 characters per second minimum subtitle duration and then maximum subtitle duration let's give it 7 seconds it's just 7 let's go to 7 there we go reprocess subtitles if you wanted to use happy scribe to automatically create su subtitles for your videos but i love it already uh just some few fine tuning and i love the way that they indicate it's 10 characters per second and this characters per line 30 for this line 26 for this it's just awesome it's just an awesome application uh and i think that with just some slight fine tuning this is a game changer in the industry uh so if you wanted to translate now we currently don't support translation from swahili we are working hard to support more languages you can always check out uh the supported languages uh for translation but once you're satisfied with your result you can either share or download let's just uh let's see if we click on share uh you get a bunch of options here you can copy the link or embed a transcript on your website of this particular uh transcript and this is very good uh, since it's seo friendly if you wanted to like do a video and then post it on your blog then this is very good for seo so you can just click on active activate sharing and you'll get the options to do all this you can also allow editing if you need the uh, the transcript edited and then once you're satisfied with all this you can either copy or embed but for the purposes of this video let's just click on download and then we have the option to download a subtitle file the subrip.srt or we can just go for a text document and just click on download this can take a few minutes for long transcriptions but this is just a short uh, transcript so i'm sure it's going to be done in no time uh, your download should start in a few and there we have it if i just click on it akilimali kishamba cha gorofa kinamfam kulima mjini so it's really good that we can get this and you can keep uh, doing this let's say we wanted subtitles uh, srt Let's just see what else we can get. Uh there we go. Uh just click on this. Uh let's just open. It's going to open in IG sub. So uh basically it's there showing you the characters, the CPS and everything. And then finally, we can just look at one more. Uh let's say Facebook subtitles uh, because for Facebook subtitles they'll they'll potentially put the language extension that is uh swahili let's see if they give us that uh, in just a moment there we go let's see mm. let's just open yeah you see uh the title .sw_ke.srt so that's good so it gives us the language extension so basically This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Happy Scribe to automatically transcribe, subtitle and translate your audio files 
into text, into subtitles, or different formats. And this is good for video editors, journalists, researchers, students, etc. You can easily use this to do all that. And I'm hoping that this video is an in-depth video that is going to help anyone that's new to HappyScribe to learn the ropes and get started using HappyScribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you're going to make value of this video. Until next time, stay safe, share the video, like the video, and until next time, never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial.